Mr. Otter Studio. Lots of you have asked questions about what erasers to use when you're drawing. Whether you're drawing with pencil, which is graphite or charcoal or pastels and chalk. One thing I want to say about erasers is that we don't just use them to correct mistakes. They are also used as a drawing tool. So that's why it's important to choose one that works well for you. And these are my top three picks. I'm not going to include this little pink one that a lot of you are probably familiar with because not only can it tear your paper, it actually sometimes will leave even a little bit of pink on your paper. So these are not the ones that I would recommend to use. The three that I would recommend are these three right here, the kneaded eraser, the white vinyl or plastic eraser, and the gum eraser. The first one I'm going to talk about is the kneaded eraser. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the package, but it can be kneaded. You can knead it into a small little point so you can erase out tiny little details or highlights. Also, when it gets dirty, you just knead it to renew it or to clean it. I like using this with chalk and when I'm using really dark, soft graphite pencils because I can clean my eraser up. So these erasers are great for erasing out tiny little details. I wouldn't recommend these though for large areas. They tend to not work as well as the other options. However, beware if you are a teacher. These disappeared from my classroom faster than any other art supply that I had because they're really fun erasers. All right, next let's talk about this white vinyl eraser. I actually prefer to use this more for small details just because it stays. If I tear it, not only do I have a small little point, this is really firm. So it's a lot easier for me to erase something with this. This works similarly to the gum eraser. The gum eraser and the vinyl eraser are pretty similar. One caution when you're using the vinyl eraser is to make sure you clean it off. If you have some charcoal on this, or especially if you have some colored chalk, and then you go to erase something on your white paper, you can see a little bit of blue on this. Sometimes that blue will come off on your paper. To avoid that, just get a sketch piece of paper and do some erasing, clean it up a little bit, and then you can use it, it'll be good as new. And last but not least is the gummy eraser. It's not called a gummy eraser. It's actually called a gum eraser, but it feels really gummy. It's really flexible. I love using these for large areas. These have the same quality as the vinyl and also the kneaded eraser where you can tear off little pieces and erase smaller little details. So the gum eraser, it is going to be more crumbly than your vinyl eraser. I can erase a larger area and I feel like these work a little bit better than some of the other options. So let's start with the kneaded eraser. This is the white vinyl eraser. And this is the gum eraser. So you can see a little bit quicker. I feel like it just works quicker than the others, but they all have their own unique characteristics. So what I would recommend is go out and try different erasers. See which ones you like, which ones do what you're trying to get your erasers to do. Each of us draw in a different style and we're working on different things. So we have a different outcome that we want. The price of these, at least at my craft store, and this is in the year 2017 in the United States, so these prices will change. The kneaded eraser was $1.99, the white eraser was $2.19, and the gum eraser was $1.49. So there's not a huge range in price. They're pretty similar, but the cheapest is the gum eraser, and it works great. There's your classic pink eraser. But you can see it kind of leaves a little bit of residue behind, and that's something that we call ghosting. In the end, use what you have. Use what you can afford. Have fun trying it out. Have fun experimenting and seeing which one works for you. Thank you so much for joining me today on Mr. Otter Studio. I hope you have fun creating and drawing and you find an eraser that works for you. In the comments below, I would love it if you would write what erasers do you like to use and where do you get them from and in what country. Thank you so much again for joining me today on Mr. Otter Studio. Have a wonderful day.